Hey y'all, it's Kimberly. Welcome to my channel, Katie's Craft Corner. Um, in this video, I am finally filming me unboxing my April Diamond Painting Club. I also have beside me my, I believe it's June, I think. I think they skipped July, so I think it's June, and my August box. Now, I got my June before my April. And I've got, I've had this one about two and a half weeks, and I've had my June about three weeks. This is just the first chance that I've had to film me unboxing these. Um, there's been a lot going on. My mother got injured. I've been sick. Um, just a whole lot of other stuff that I really don't want to go into. But a lot's been going on. That's why you haven't seen any videos. And I'm hoping life gets better soon. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of this one right here. I have peeked inside of it, but that's all I've done is peeked inside of it. Um, and I think my letter is on the bottom, which I guess is a good thing. Let's go ahead and pull some of this stuff out and just get it over on the side. That way we can move the box out of the way and just go through what is in the box. I'm going to put the diamond paintings over here on my side. And there's a random tweezer floating around in the bottom. I did not go all the way to the bottom. Let's put all of this over here. It looks like they have given us much nicer kits this time. Um, comes with some bent, sharp tweezers, the nice kind, which I really like that. I would probably use these more for like arts and crafts. Um, I like the straight ones uh, for diamond painting, uh, but these would probably come in really handy for like miniature doll ma house making and stuff. Let's see if there's a hole in this bag and that's why, yep, that's why those came out. Let's just make them point the other direction. And maybe they'll stay in there. But each one of these kits, they're for the diamond paintings. Um, they come with the Mosfa uh, white boat. Um, a clear pen, a scrunchie for the pen, the really nice tweezers, and a large plate of wax. And then there's my little letter, and I'm not really going to look at it right now. And hold on just a second. Let me get the box out of the way and everything. Okay, we are back. I also had to go find my glasses, which I ended up having to do a really scrubby scrub scrub on. Because um, it looks like they the dog might have licked them or something. <laughs> So Maisie might have got a hold of them and did her a good little lick. Okay, let's start with the smaller items. This is the smallest item in this um, box. I am going to get the letter and have it close by just in case I need it. And I put the bottom of the box lid, box inside the lid. So let's see, make sure that I did. Yep, this was my April box. I thought I had them right. So crinkly, crinkly sound. This right here comes with the green boat, some baggies, there is a plate of pink wax underneath the baggies, and a plain pink pen. Um, and this is, it appears to be, bird keychains. Um, it comes with a kind of, looks like almost rose gold colored hooks, and then there's the chains. Looks like there are four, yep, there are four different birds. That looks almost like a, if it wasn't blue, it'd almost look like a chickadee. But there are four different birds. Couldn't tell you what they are. But there they are. You do diamond paint both sides. I'm going to put them back in and we will take a look at the drills. The rhinestones and drills, it looks like. More crinkling. Let's see, there are some drills right here. And it looks like several of them are a B. This is a bright golden yellow, and it is AB coated. And if you don't know what AB is, that stands for Aurora Boy Alice. 
and that is the special coating that you can see on the side of that drill right there and I hope that wasn't my phone but on the front of that drill right there is that rainbow coating which just gives it some extra sparkle and shine and uh, gives it some extra character and then there's this pretty blue and then there's a white AB and a red AB and then this gorgeous purple which is not quite the same color. I thought it might have matched my fingernail polish, but nope. That's a purple fingernail polish on there. One of my favorite colors, purple and teal. And I have them matted. First first time I've worn matted fingernails in a long time. Let's see, and then we have some googly eyes. So I guess the birds get googly eyes. We have two of these really pretty large red gems, which will go on that bird right there, I bet. There's some AB blue marquees. There are some red cabochons. There are some purple AB marquees, more lavender than purple. There's some large gold teardrops. And some, looks like red ABs and teardrop. Some very large uh, marquees, blue again they've got AB on them and then there are those gorgeous they're all over the place the orange and pink and gold colored AB cabochons so those are the special drills that go along with all of these beautiful drills right here so I'm gonna pause it get all of this put up and then we'll go on to the next item okay we are back with the next item um, this, I did watch Donnie open her paper box. Um, this, I think, is like a little girl's pocketbook, which I have a cousin with a little three-year-old girl, I want to say. She might be four now. That would probably love this. It unzips right there on the side. You can put little items in there. Really cute. Got the little husky face. Um, I'm kind of like her. Why do you want to put this over that cute little husky face? Why not put it on this side and have one side diamond pin and one side plain? And then you could take that little bone and maybe put it on his little head or in his little mouth. And have a little bit of diamond pin on both sides. But I kind of don't want to cover up that cute little face. With a diamond painting, why not have it on both sides? So, plain on this side with a little bone, and then diamond painted on this side. And then there's your drills, and it's probably going to be all black, white, and brown if I have to guess. And then this one comes with a really cute little pen. It's got little, looks like little Hello Kitty type characters all over it and it says diamond on the end of it right here but that's a cute little pen especially for a little girl that maybe diamond paints I even like it because I like the Sanrio characters and stuff yeah well it's gold instead of brown but black white and gold and Mike could put like maybe some ABs in there and dress it up and it comes with two green boats and a plate of wax Okay, I'm going to pause again and just say, oh, that shows the other characters that you can get. There's a little kitty cat and an elephant and a narwhal and a couple princesses and then some little, looks like she might be just a little girl. And then there's a little, another little princess and a couple more little girls. It looks like a mouse, a hmm, donkey maybe, a dog. A cow, a monkey, um, I'm not sure, I guess that's some little monster, a tiger, pig, a goat, a chicken, a little inchworm, and a bunny rabbit. This is more exciting new product series to be continued. So I guess these are, they're saying coming, but I bet they're already out. And then there's the step-by-step -step instructions, and it is in Chinese and English. Let's see, check whether the packing is complete and damaged. 
Put a bit of cement with the tip of the drill pin and make easier. Open the elastic film. Don't be don't be big too big, lest the glue sticks. Put the precise color point of the corresponding drill number to the corresponding position. Complete the work. Take out the change wallet and paste the diamond picture on it. And they actually do show them putting it over the picture, but I probably wouldn't do that. Anyway, let's pause and put this up and I'll be on with the next one. Okay, we are back with the next item, which it looks like this is one of those photo albums. And again, you get a darker green, a slightly different, deeper boat, a pink pen, some baggies, and pink wax. But yeah, this boat, if you look, it is slightly darker and a little bit different than these boats. This one actually has a little ledge around the edges. I don't know if you can tell that through the back. I really don't want to pull it out of the bag, but it's slightly darker color and everything. But anyway, here's our drills going to be rhinestones and let's see here is the opening here we go pretty yellow and blue flowers and I know I'm going to like that teal blue like color right there as long as they don't do a really bright green sometimes they'll have the prettiest color on the diamond painting and then it'll be like a totally different color of green but I probably have plenty of rhinestones to be able to replace it if they do that anyway you open it up and it has places to put photos in here and I have seen people say that you can probably put photos on both sides but I don't believe that you can because once you put photos in here you're not really gonna have a way to for it to grab on over here because I watched somebody do that and this one right here is just too far away from most photos or it's too close um, for the larger photos so like I think it was like four by sixes wouldn't fit and four by fours it was too sh too far away I think if I remember correctly but you can put photos on one side and then you could probably glue photos on the covers and if you want to you could probably get uh, some of those little pick photo tabs and put photos on the other side as well since the uh, clips probably won't work I don't have any photos available right now to be able to put in here. All my photos are put up and in a bat. Since I'm living on space, they're put up, they're in a box, and they're put in a container underneath my bed, and I'd have to pull that sucker out, and I'm not doing that. Anyway, um, I know I do have some photos um, on my bookshelf, but they're really small, like three by four photos or something like that. So let's look at the drills. And I don't have my tape measure available. I lost it and I haven't been able to find it. So we aren't going to be able to measure the diamond paintings, but they're always like shorter than what it says. Let's see, we've got some of those star rainbow color uh, cabochons. Then there are some red. And then there are some more rainbow AD crystal and then we got some that is like a burnt orange and that is a pretty blue I am pleased with that there's a pale yellow with some orange hitchhikers there's a dark yellow again with orange hitchhikers and then there's some orange and with an orange that sacrificed his life and then some clear and that is the drills for these let's see the middle of the flowers will be that pretty star. I call it a star because it actually has like a star cut out in the middle of it. It's not star shaped. It's just got that star cut out. Which I love these. When I see them, I love them. And I love this kind as well. And let's see. These will probably be going here in the sevens. And then the reds are going to be the eights, which look like they're like maybe little berries or they're on the ends of the yellow. It's really weird. They're off the petal there, but they're on the petal here. 
and then they're not on here at all. Okay. Um, if you hear a TV going that is in the living room, I'm hoping you don't. I got a noise canceling microphone that I'm hoping is cutting out the background noise and not picking it up. I guess I'll find out when I go to edit this video. But anyway, let me pause and put this up and we will be on to the next item over here. Okay, the next item, it looks like it is a wall clock. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. Where's a pair of my tweezers? I try to pull out a pair of my flat nose tweezers, like my star or tweezers, because if you use the sharp ones on here, you're likely to start dulling the point. Okay, everything's out of the box. We'll set it aside. And there is our beautiful clock. Looks like the paper had raised up a little bit, but I don't think it affected. No, it didn't affect the glue any. Beautiful clock with this really bright. I hope that's glue in the dark. I doubt it is, but it would be awesome if it was. But um, you got the numbers in here, Roman letters in there here are the clock hands nice gold long clock hands you want to be careful on these in fact this one has already been bent some but these will bend very easily they are very delicate so be careful of them because if they bend they'll run into each other and i'm afraid that second hand may run in into the others because like i said it has been bent right there ever so slightly but Hopefully it'll be okay. We'll find out when we put it together. Um, when you go to diamond paint this, I would take this mechanism off because if you don't, you're going to have it rocking as you diamond paint unless you hold it in your hand. And a lot of times I do. I'll sit back in my recliner and I will diamond paint and hold stuff in my hand. Um, you get the regular pink uh, pen, another one of those dark green boats, some baggies, and there is a pink uh, wax underneath there. And let's see. It looks like there's a lot of pearls. Which I'm happy about. A whole lot of pearls. Let's see. Let's start on this end with the white regular um, drills. And then you got some red rhinestones. These are the ones that are clear on bottom but have gold on top. They look like little diamonds on bottom, though. And there's two bags of those. And these are actually just like gold. And there's a lot of whites hitchhiking in there. Uh, these are just the ones that have like the gold paint, not the gold glitter. I hate them when they have the gold glitter. And then there's some more. There's pretty blues with some red hitchhikers. There's some green and another darker green. And purples. And then here are some two bags of beautiful AB pearls and then there's some red cabochons, some green ones and then here are some larger AB pearls and even larger AB pearls so lots of AB pearls that's going to be a really really pretty clock I can't wait to see that done don't know where I'll hang it or anything but I can't wait to see it done Anyway, let's pause. I'm going to put all of this up and I will be back to show you the diamond paintings that came in this box. Okay, I am back and this is a first. My diamond paintings are not in plastic this time. I think they forgot to plastic me. But anyway, let's get my little thingy. and cut the tape I hate the tape if you look at it, the tape turns yellow I hate this tape a lot of times if it's been on there for a while it'll leave a residue behind um, there's a little bit of a residue but not much let's see oh there's the Paper, which will be all rolled up and hard to unroll now. 
Let's see. It looks like this one might be a fairy. Um, that's what my theme is supposed to be. Fairy, wolves. Well, fairies and dragons and wolves. And I think this might be the last month that I get wolves because I changed just fairies and dragons because I wasn't liking the wolves they were giving me. Yeah, it is a fairy. Um, there she is. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture and maybe put it up right here on the screen as well. But there's the little fairy. Um, she is a 30 by 40 and 19 colors, which are right here. And they do have really good sticky tape. I don't like the fact that they're not doing separate sheets because I always rip these. But I guess it doesn't really matter because I will probably end up taking it. Oh, and the paper's separating. Isn't that nice? It's separating right there from itself. Isn't that just lovely? It's wanting to stick to the tape rather than come off as one. See, I always tear it. never fails. But yeah, it looks like the way someone's jagged cutting. Um, I'm not a fan of their um, drill field because they use a lot of symbols that I don't know. Just I don't know how to describe it. Just seem unusual to me, I guess. Um, like there's one that almost looks like a telephone, like a um, telephone booth or something. I don't know how to describe it. Um, and of course, you won't be able to see it easily on there, but we're going to pull this back most of the way. I hope you can see the image okay. That's far enough. We'll pull it back that far. Um, and I'm going to try to move you down. We can get a look at the drill field. Um, but it's this symbol right here. It's just an odd symbol to me. To me, it looks like those old, you know, like the old Nokia phones with the little small screen. That's what it reminds me of. But, I mean, they use almost all symbols. Um, there is like an M, but there's like a percent sign, um, the hazard sign, arrows, um, upside, tri upside down triangle, sideways triangle, um, something that looks like it's just a bar, um, check mark. Um, circle there is a three and an M those are the only ones I see just glancing right now but anyway we'll pull you back out come on we don't want you doing that now I will end up getting um, parchment paper out and recovering this with parchment paper. I have little parchment squares. Yeah, it looks like someone had some like rather dull scissors. And that's why the paper is separating because it's kind of cut really, really jagged. There is her head. And her upper wing. Anyway, put that back down. And I'm not going to go through all of these colors because they're kind of spread out. You can get a general idea of the colors. It's a lot of muted colors peaches, pinks, browns, grays, taupes, a little bit of uh, like reds. And it's more like burnt red light colors, but. That is the color scheme for this little fairy. And let's set her aside. And we will go on to the next one. Because this video is already kind of long. 
And there's multiple pieces of tape on this one. Let's see if we can get it all off. Come on. It's not being very cooperative and it's tearing. It looks like they use shorter pieces instead of going all the way around, but jeez. I like for it when they go all the way around because then at least it comes off in one big piece. Like this one went all the way around. It's multiple pieces, but it still went all the way around because they were on top of each other. Yuck. Ugh. Okay, this one looks like, oh look, immediately the paper's tearing. Ooh, this is going to be hard to get off there. I can't tell. I'm hoping this one might be a dragon. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Got to pull the, look, it's attached to it. Nice. It's attached to the painting. There we go. Let's see what this one is. This one, yep, this one looks like it is from How to Train Your Dragon. Which I would assume is not a licensed image for them. And so this would be a stolen image. Which makes me not too pleased about putting it on my channel. But this is a lesson. This, I'm probably going to, I've been saying this, but I'm probably going to quit Diamond Pen Club by the end of the year. I'm going to give them a few more chances. I've already warned them that they have stolen images. And they claim that they have a whole department that works vigorously on finding their stolen images or finding out if they have stolen images and if they do, removing them from their site. And of course, I went and told them about one that's been on their site for since the beginning, that, since I first heard about them and pointed it out to them and it's on their like homepage. It's like the very, one of the very first images that you see. And I said, this is a stolen image. Yes, yeah, see, this is from How to Train Your Dragon. There he is, but I can't remember his name. I hadn't seen the movie in years, but there's his little red fake tail piece. But yeah, there's that image. And the it has training wheels or training circles. So, and they're white, so like these black drills have a white circle around them, which I am not pleased about. Um, multiple not pleased, not pleased that it's a stolen image because they do not license any of their images that I have seen. So that's the end of how much we're going to look at that one. Um, the drills aren't as spread out as the other, but oh, they're spilling out. There's one of the bags that's apparently open because there are purple ones spilling out everywhere. So I'm going to be careful because these purples right here, it looks like, are spilling out. Or no, it's probably, I can't tell if it's those or another pair, but there's a whole lot of blacks. There's pinks, there's reds, lavenders, navies, greens, bunches of greens, there's more pinks and blues, there's pretty teal, more green, it's probably that bag right there, yep, that bag right there is completely open, and is spilling out drills everywhere. So, I don't want to pull these out because I'm probably going to have drills falling everywhere, but yeah, you get the gist. More purples, blues, more greens. There's my favorite color. Love that color. And there's a red drill hanging out in the tape right there. There's a purple one that fell out. There's two more purples that fell out. We'll just put them back down in the little baggie and close them back up and get that situated later but yeah there's that painting 
Let's see if we can pull some of this up and get it to lay flat over here. I will probably stick these. I've got a portfolio. I've got a couple of them, but I got one for small paintings right here beside my chair, and these will probably go into it. And then the larger painting there, I've got a larger one that I've been using as a barrier to keep little Miss Maisie in the bedroom at night. I will go and put the larger one in it, and then these, I, the drills, I actually, and the papers, I actually fold up together, and I put them in one of those easy win boxes together. So, the last one on this box is this one. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Sorry about that. I do have the camera a little bit low because I am having to sit down and I can't see what's going on otherwise. And once again, we are stuck to the painting. There we go. Get the foam roller out of there. So this is a 40 by 50 and this is wolves. Now I do like this wolf. This is one of the first wolves I've ever had that I liked. Most of the ones they've sent me have just been like plain brown wolves, no gray wolves, no pretty colors in the background. But this one I like and they actually size these right. This is the first box I've ever gotten where the sizes were right. There were big, like the bigger fairy and the big picture of the how to train your dragon dragon on the smaller paintings and now you've got the group of wolves here on the larger painting and again it's one solid sheet of paper which i do not like and of course there's no the glue right here comes out past the paper and that's why both of these have had the paper the um inventory sheet stuck to them Let's see if we can pull from this direction now because it's starting to separate the paper on the bottom. And I tore it, of course. Come on. Come on. I keep from tearing it more. There we go. Almost. But yeah, see the papers. Tearing right there, not wanting to come up off the glue. Come on. There we go. Now maybe I can keep from tearing it. See, I hate it when they're this big and you just got one sheet because you're more likely to end up putting wrinkles and stuff in it. most of the way off so there's what you get uh, like ghost wolf in the background with those beautiful blue eyes I would probably want to put ABs right there and then you've got the group of wolves down here one of which is howling so it's like a spirit wolf and then you got the group of gray wolves and that is a beautiful painting right there and I would probably if I had to guess it's probably an artist rendition I could probably find it on deviant art which would mean that it probably should have been licensed and here are the colors see lots of blues and greens and grays and a little bit of lavender but mostly blues and greens and grays but again I'm not going to open them because they're spread out really well easy for you to look down through there and see all of the colors and all three of these were rounds. I did not mention that. Um, the other two were 30 by 40s, and this one is a 40 by 50. But that is the end of my April box. Um, I'm actually kind of pleased with this box, more pleased with this box than I was my May box. Um, and I already know that I'm not pleased with my June box because it came in a smaller box, but I'll get into that in the June video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, I'm not sure that I can recommend Diamond Painting Club. Um, 
you join you make that decision yourself um, I'm not happy with the fact that I have received several stolen images I'm going to email them again about the fact that I got the how to train your dragon which is I'm sure a stolen image and I'm going to check on these others to see if they are um, and if they are I will be telling them um, but anyway uh, I'm kind of pleased with the extra crafts that came with it um, all of them were diamond painting related which makes me happy um, I'm not too happy usually when they're not diamond painting related unless they're like cross stitch or something which I do know is in the June box is a piece of um, beaded cross stitch sort of um, and I'm okay with that one um, but there's uh, I've already seen an August unboxing and I'm not too pleased with something that's in the August one um, but I'm dying to see what comes in like the um, September for hopefully October and then the November for Christmas I'm I'm sticking with it because I want to see what they send for like Halloween crafts and Thanksgiving crafts and Christmas crafts um, this year so we'll see um, after that I will probably be dropping them at the end of the year and spending my money taking that 60 something dollars and spending it on another diamond art club or something um, I know I get more bang for the buck, but I can buy stuff off AliExpress that is not um, stolen material that is, you know, free use and probably have my money go further, honestly, because I've checked the prices of what they send as opposed to what's on AliExpress, and AliExpress is just slightly cheaper. Um, and I know this stuff comes from, someone's mentioned it to me, I know this doesn't come from China. Um, it's actually coming from the U.S. This is it's an Australian company, but this is actually coming from the, here in the U.S. Um, or at least this box did, I believe, because it even says U.S. twin adhesive um, on it. But um, the Arts and craft items, they're all on AliExpress, every single one of them. And I'm pretty sure they probably buy the stuff in bulk from China. Um, they're not producing it in Australia because most diamond painting stuff is produced in China. Um, even Diamond Art Club, the stuff is produced in China. Um, the drills are produced in China. Um, they probably have a manufacturer that does a lot of stuff that you just can't do it for that pricing here in the U.S. Um, and you're not going to uh, find places that will do these drills. I mean, it's just, it would be insanely expensive to do these drills here in the U.S. Um, now, they may be doing the printing of the diamond. I don't know all of the information on Diamond Art Club. They may be doing the printing. Um, I know they do the charting and everything. Um, they have their own people who chart and everything. But they may they may be doing the printing of them. I don't know. And the that part. But um, the drills, I know, have to come from China. That's the only place you can buy drills, as far as I know. Um, but anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm rambling, um, and the video is long enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet, please go down below and subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I upload. Because right now, it is really sporadic for when I upload. And I am so sorry about that. Um, I am hoping and praying that that changes soon. Um, I will do a whip and chat soon that kind of gives you more information because I have a lot of health issues. And that is a, what a lot of my problem is. But anyway, I won't go into details on that right now. Um, like I said, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some pointers down below. Anything you think I can prove, anything you'd like to see, let me know. You can message me on Instagram, um, Facebook, Facebook. Uh, even Twitter, even though I don't really use Twitter, um, I have all of that information down below. You can message me on all of my uh, platforms. I even have an email address down below for people who want to do business. Um, so please don't email me on my business email address, um, but you can email me, um, excuse me, DM me on Instagram is the best place to reach me or Facebook Messenger. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.